Major decisions will be made inside Wichita County District courtrooms in the coming weeks. Guilt or innocence may be decided on two people charged with capital murder, and decisions are expected on whether two of the most talked about cases throughout this area in many years will be moved outside of Wichita County. Digital reporter Josh Hoggard has been following some of these cases since the very beginning. He joins us now with more. Josh. Yeah, Daryl, the weeks ahead will possibly be the busiest season the Wichita County Court has seen in quite a while. We're talking major motion hearings on the docket and some of the biggest pending local cases and a week where all three district courtrooms will have murder defendants facing a jury beginning on the same day. And that's just in the first week of August. Things get underway on Monday, July 31st, with a pretrial hearing set for Ashley Esselborn, the last remaining defendant charged in the brutal murder of Zachary Wood last year. Her jury trial for Wood's murder was set to get underway on July 10th. However, that trial was delayed at the request of her attorney. Her new trial date hasn't yet been set, but we'll likely know more after Monday's hearing. Later in the week on Friday morning, we'll know for sure where the upcoming punishment trial for Amber McDaniel will be taking place. Amber's defense attorney filed a motion to move her punishment trial out of Wichita County, something that both McDaniel and the DA's office agreed to in April when she pled guilty to endangerment and tampering in connection to the murder of her son, Wilder. Right now, McDaniel's trial is set for September 11th, and in all likelihood, it will be transferred to Tarrant County, where James Staley was convicted of Wilder's murder back in March. And another venue change motion will be addressed on the same day in the same courtroom in another major upcoming trial, that of Corey Trumbull, who was charged with capital murder after the body of 11-year-old Logan Klein was discovered in an abandoned car more than three years ago. On Friday afternoon at 1.30 in the 30th District Court, a hearing is set to determine if Trumbull's capital murder trial will be heard in Wichita County or moved somewhere else. Trumbull's trial is set to begin in just a few weeks on August 21st, pending the result of Friday's hearing. The following week, on Monday, August 7th, the 30th, the 78th, and the 89th District Court all have jury trials set to get underway. Starting with the 89th, Clinton Thompson is set for a retrial on a charge of aggravated assault connected to a road rage incident from 2017. Thompson, who still has an unrelated murder charge pending in connection to the fatal shooting of Rocky Buckley in 2012 was tried for the same charge last May, but a mistrial was ultimately declared after the jury couldn't reach a unanimous verdict. Also on Monday, just down the hall in the 78th District Court, the capital murder trial of Xavion Denson is set to get underway as well. He is one of four defendants charged in the shooting death of 65-year-old Carolyn High after her body was found lying in a driveway in January of 2020. Of the four then-teenagers charged with High's murder, Denson is the first to face a judge and jury in this case. And finally, in the 30th District Court, the first murder trial for a fentanyl-related death in Wichita County is also set to begin. Jacinto Jimenez was charged with capital murder after police said he sold a counterfeit pill laced with fentanyl that was later ingested by 21-year-old Andres Diaz, who later passed out and died. And the courthouse's jam-packed August ends in the 78th District Court on the 31st, where a motion to change the venue of Anthony Patterson's upcoming trial for trafficking and sex crimes against children will be heard. The very lengthy motion that was recently filed by Patterson's defense team required Request that the trial be moved outside of Wichita County to Collin County. And as of right now, his trial is set to begin the day before Halloween. And Daryl, those are just the major hearings and trials. I didn't even talk about the pretrial hearings connected to those cases. For example, Trumbull's co-defendant Stormy Johnson and all the other people charged in Carolyn High's murder. Now, starting on Monday, I'll be practically living at the courthouse for about a month, along with some of my fellow co-workers. So make sure that you're following us on air and online to stay up to date during this very busy next few weeks. So much coming up, my mm -hmm. goodness. Okay, Josh, thank you very much for keeping us posted.